Where are you at, Omar? I know you're here someplace. Come on up here with me. This is Omar's idea, and this is a great, if you're wondering what it is. This is actually a uh, support board. That's what we're calling a support board. And now I want to be real honest. How many of you get tired of fundraisers? Amen. Just really get tired of it, right? <laughs> I do. I, I get tired of it. I mean, uh, I know the youth department gets tired of it. Uh, and Omar is doing a great job, uh, he and Veronica and his crew of heading up the youth right now, and, and we're hoping Omar is going to be our guy. Uh, we're giving him plenty of time to pray about it. He's doing great. And by the way, his nickname is Carlos, so uh, <laughs> Carlos Santana. Uh, but this is his idea, and because we get really disrupted uh, in this fundraiser opportunity thing that comes up so frequently. And by the way, you have fundraiser today, don't you? Yes, Why don't you tell them about it? Car wash today, right in the middle of our area. How much? Seven bucks. What about if they're hungry? Free food. Free food. Seven dollars gets you a hot dog, a drink, some chips, and you get a car wash. So come on down right here. I know it's been raining. Your car's filthy right now. It's not going to rain no more the rest of the week, so come on and see us right after church. Right after church. Now, that, that, is, that is a guy who is on a spiritual ram when he says, it is not going to rain anymore this week. <laughs> the prophet Elijah has spoken. <laughs> Only for one week, is that right? One, only one? Okay, okay. Uh, let me get you back to this board. Uh, some of the slots have already been taken. Sonny, uh, hand me these little cards. Uh, the minute we put it out, some of the, even the young people started taking these envelopes, okay? Now, it's, it, it was simple, and they put their money or their check in the envelope already. It starts from $1. There's only 125 cards up here. They started at $1. The most is, is 125 bucks. And uh, some people say, well, I can only give 20 Well, there's a card that says 20 but if this 125 cards up here is taken, that's all. You can get more than one, by the way. Some of you need to get like 10. If you want me to call you by name, I will. Paul. Uh, no, no. I... <laughs> when you sit on the front, you get picked on, okay? Be smart. Be like Joe. Sit in the back. But Joe needs 10 too. But anyway, I'll leave that alone. If 120, if these cards are gone, It'll send every kid that wants to go to camp to camp, plus there'll be a surplus left over. 30 plus kids, 30 plus kids to camp. You don't have to, there, there'll be, you don't have to get bombarded for the rest of the year with these fundraiser opportunities. That'll be done. So, well, the only problem I have with this is the kids are not doing anything. Oh, yes, they are. Because the church members are going to be funding this project. We're going to have the kids on a couple of weeks come up, and they're going to have work day at the church instead of going to your house and to be auctioned off. They will do some of the stuff around here to earn the merit for this, those going to camp. So here's the deal. I'm asking for you to participate in this. And you say, I can only afford $13. Well, you take the card for $13, okay? And, 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 and once you fill it out, whatever it is, Sonny right here is going to collect them all. She's going to do the money collecting for the youth department. And once they're gone, and by the way, this, we're going to watch it grow every week. The total amount will be $8,000. If you take these 125 cards, now that, it's a simple task, but an incredible opportunity. 125 cards will raise $8,000. I like this idea so much, I think we're going to do it for an offering every other week. So it, <laughs> it'll be really, really good. This was his idea. It's a great idea. And, uh, and, and it's, it's separate from your tithe and offering. This is that you're just saying, I'm going to make a contribution. I'm going to invest in a young person's life to send them to camp. To go ahead. This idea was, Since you're Elijah, you go ahead. So This idea was a group idea. It wasn't my idea. Like Pastor Mike keeps saying, it was Jocelyn and Rudy and Margaret and Veronica, and it was just all of us together. So it, I want to give them credit for this. Well, praise the Lord, Elijah. That's good. <laughs> I'm afraid to rebuke him because he may say, I'm not going to let it rain for two weeks. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I need somebody uh, to give me some, some, some music because we're going to play envelope parade right now.
envelope parade right now, okay? Then we're going to take an offering. You don't put this envelope in the offering plate. You come and give it to Sonny. You don't put your offering in this envelope. This is separate. This is above. And again, everyone, everyone can afford something on here. You say, are you pressuring us? Yeah. I am, okay? So, right now, I need some music. Can y'all just play me some music? And I cry. All right, all right. Envelope parade. Come on. Let's come across the stage. There you go, man. kids that have gone to camp previously if you're wondering what they are and what a difference it makes in their life some of them are here some of them have gone uh, but we're going to leave this up and each week we're going to watch it go up and this board will be out in the foyer for you to accept pretty good start pretty good start so I'm, I'm curious to see where this leads us last opportunity if you want one now you can get one after church remember turn them into sunny not the offering plate it'll be great praise the Lord and the buzz that was created by you guys doing this was very pleasant to our ears. And I know it's pleasant uh, to the Lord. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. And you guys were smiling and excited. And again, they don't have to be turned in today, but if you took one, we ask that you do turn it in. And we'll watch this thing go forward as we reach that $8,000 plus goal. I had one gentleman say, look, my total's not on there. He said, can I just put a check for the amount that I want because my total oh we have four let the spirit move envelopes so I like that 
And Elijah is on the ball, isn't he? Well, that answered that. Yes. Again, this is here. I know some people will give above and beyond the $125 envelope. I know they will. And I didn't see those. But if you quietly want to do that, then do it. Some people don't like anyone to know the amounts or what they do. Whatever you do is between you and the Lord, and it'll be kept confidential what you do. Uh, so this at the end of the service, you can get one here. And from every Sunday till now on, I think the most important thing is not the envelopes with the money. The most important thing are the pictures that are on here. I see some of these kids, and man, they're going to be our deacons in a couple of years. They're going to be our Sunday school teachers. You know, I, I see these kids' faces, and, and, and most of them are still around, and they've got a link with the church. And if you want to keep a generation involved in the church, you've got to commit to it. They don't tithe. They don't do much. They don't, they, they don't offer a whole lot right now. But if you invest in it now, it's like your investments. You start, you won't get much return in the beginning, but if you just hang with it, at the end of the day, it's going to reap great benefits. So invest in these young people. A church that is not willing to invest in its young people is a church that is on a course to die. It'll have cardiac arrest and it will die. You've got to keep the influx of the younger mindset constantly going on what we're doing. So.